Well, in the last four years, the Biden-Harris administration passed a $269 billion climate bill known as the Inflation Reduction Act. Former President Trump said he would repeal that law along with many of Biden's environmental regulations. National climate reporter Chase Kane looks into whether climate activists are viewing the election any differently now that Kamala Harris is in the race. Both in Milwaukee, only five days apart, two distinct views on climate change. He literally promised big oil companies, big oil lobbyists, he would do their bidding for $1 billion in campaign donations. We will drill, baby, drill. The same phrase appears in the official Republican platform calling for an expansion of oil and gas production, the liquid gold under our feet, which would further heat the planet. And despite that clear divide, some climate activists never fully supported President Biden. A protest through Manhattan last fall highlighted views he didn't do enough to stop our use of fossil fuels. Pass the torch, Biden. And that dissatisfaction continued until last week in Washington. Since the president stepped aside, a number of climate action groups have enthusiastically lined up to support Kamala Harris. But what makes her more appealing than Biden? Well, one reason dates back to 2005, when as San Francisco district attorney, Harris created an office for environmental justice. And that was before some first time voters this year were even born. Yeah, she has a history. And I think specifically, she has a history around holding big oil accountable in a way that we haven't been able to do in the last four years. Aru is the executive director of the Sunrise Movement and highlights Harris's opposition to oil, coal and gas, the primary drivers of climate change. In 2015 and 2016, as California Attorney General, Harris investigated and sued oil and gas companies. In 2019, she became an early sponsor of the Green New Deal. And in 2020, Harris campaigned against fracking and offshore drilling. And support from voters who prioritize climate change could prove pivotal in a close election because a University of Colorado analysis found that, quote, climate change opinion probably cost Republicans the 2020 presidential election. In California, I'm national climate reporter Chase Kane.